All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the chat. It has been a long time since we've done this. Two months, in fact. Uh, and it, the reason is because of kind of this very game we're going to play. Um, we are going to be playing Doom 3 tonight, uh, the BFG edition that recently came up for the Nintendo Switch. And this is the second part of our Nintendo is Doomed category. Last time we played Doom on SNES, which you may recall ruined my hands. Uh, if you've been following along on Twitter, I actually suffered such severe repetitive stress injury from playing Doom on Super NES that I was basically unable to work or do anything for weeks and had to go to physiotherapy and stuff like that. So F you Doom on SNES, seriously. Hey Keenan, what's up? So that was pretty fun. So that's why it's been two months. Oh, and we kind of maybe released a game in between then and now. So We'll talk about that a little bit later. Anyway, tonight we're going to be playing Doom 3, uh, which I'm very excited to play. And unlike when most people tend to play Doom 3, uh, I'm not going to start you guys at the beginning, because there's that really long opening segment it takes before things get going. I actually played a bunch before, and I don't know, we're like 30-some percent through the game, so we're just going to kind of start where we are and, and keep going. So let's just get into... Yeah, there we go. Music's already like rocking and rolling. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose my campaign and continue. Hey, DK Shadow, thanks for joining. All right, so we're in the Alpha Lab Sector Three. We're just gonna jump into this, and we'll talk about. I'm gonna talk lots about Doom, uh, Doom Three specifically. Oh God, things are off to a bad start. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. It is the best port of Doom that just came out on Switch, that's for sure. There's no online login. And it's actually pretty sweet. How's that look? It looks pretty good, eh? Oh, God. So I've already got a bunch of weapons. I've got this here machine gun. I've got, of course, the shotgun, which is the best. I've got the old pistol. I've got the, the grenade. Uh... The chain gun, but I think I'm going to stick with the shotgun for a bit. So if you've never played Doom 3 before and didn't play the original or any of the re-releases, this is pretty interesting because I'm a big fan of the original Doom 3. I actually played it on, uh, uh, originally played it like on a Mac demo, and then I actually played it through on Xbox, um, the console version, which has a bunch of changes made to it. It's kind of my preferred version of the game. But the original Doom does not let you use a weapon and a flashlight at the same time. Uh, and that's actually, I think, the best way to play it because it's meant to be dark as crap and scary. It's a horror game. It's not a big uh, scary shooter. Or sorry, it is a scary shooter. It's not a big action-packed shooter like the previous teams were. Oh god, oh god, I'm just getting obliterated right off the bat. That screen shake is pretty aggressive. So my flashlight's running out. You can see that little um, uh, that little icon in the lower left-hand corner. So how they get around the uh, the sort of original limitation of only being able to have a flashlight or a gun is that your flashlight batteries. Um, oh crap! What's that? Oh, come here! Whoa! Your flashlight batteries deplete automatically, and then there's a pause before they recharge. It kind of works out to be similar. Not quite. Hey, what's up, Seward? Thanks for coming by. And Blarcade, thank you. Uh, yeah, Blarcade, the Xbox version is really good. And on the Xbox 360, it was backwards compatible, so it ran like a full 720p. Ran super smooth. Um, and the reason I preferred is because they redesigned a bunch of levels... Uh, to A, support co-op play, which is a sort of unique feature of that version. And also to be wider and a little bit more accessible for console play. And re replaying this edition now, I kind of miss some of those like slightly larger areas. I think they probably got rid of some of these things, like some of these crates and stuff. But the one thing the uh, original Xbox version did not have um, was all the dynamic lighting. And you can kind of see it here. OK. 
traffic we're gonna. Look at these creepy. They're based. These are basically that one creature from the thing. Like just nightmare fuel. Oh, whoa. Access denied. Don't have a key card. So it's pretty funny because people were always like, "Well, this isn't real Doom. Like, this isn't what Doom is like." But I don't know. I'm collecting key cards. I'm getting stuck in hallways, fighting things, fearing for my life, getting caught by hordes of enemies. Uh. And I'm fighting the minions of hell. It seems pretty much like Doom to me. I am going to do... You know what? I'm actually going to do one right now. I am going to do quite a few safety saves. Because things can get pretty hairy pretty quickly. Oh, Keynet. I didn't... Oh, I didn't know that they gave the uh, gold award. Do you remember what issue that was in? Because I might want to go find that. Warning. Toxins present. Please execute. Oh, I remember procedure. this. It was the weird barrel mini game. Okay, where do we do this? So we can't go in there until we clean stuff up. Wait. It's funny how like voice incinerator. Like a minute. Oh, here we go. A minute into us playing this, we get to do like a weird crane game mini puzzle. So again, if you've never played Doom, uh, it, it didn't invent, I don't think, but it definitely, at least for me, popularized the whole idea of using audio logs a lot. So I'm just gonna hit that button. So you can see it picked up all these PDAs, the audio logs in it, and I'm just gonna play one and just shut up for a minute. This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia, dated November 1st, 2145. I'm filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time. I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, Changed the cabinet door codes here to one, two, three because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot it. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log. One, two, three. It's like I'm playing Yakuza. Fall 2003. Okay, thanks, Kinet. I'm gonna take a look out for that because I would, uh, I would like to know. No, I mean this is a pretty funny departure, because like here we are playing waste management crane mini game. But you know, like people were, people were often giving it a hard time for doing things when, like you know, stuff like Half Life came out, and then they were like, "Fine, we'll make scary Half Life," and it's like. Kind of very Half-Life in some ways. And then people were complaining, like, no, 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 we wanted that whole Doom stuff. Make up your goddamn mind. Son of a... Look at this guy. Oh. God, I can't hit the broad side of a barn. That was nuts, huh? Okay, Kinet, thank you. So, like, the game originally came out in uh, 2004 for PC. And it's funny, so the, one of the things about this is, like I said, I played it originally on a Mac demo, so the first time anyone saw Doom 3 was at Macworld 2001. And it was a big graphics presentation where John Comack got on stage, like Steve Jobs introduced him. And they were there to show off how they were using OpenGL to do cool stuff with, like, the video cards that were coming out in the new uh, line of Max. And then... Uh, and then it didn't actually come out on Mac till... Oops. Till uh, 2005, I think it was. It was uh, ported by another company, uh, Aspire, who did a lot of Mac ports at the time. So the Apple kind of got screwed on that one. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, and the reason why it's so interesting is because, like, in 2001, uh, Apple was sort of, you know, sort of back for the break of disaster. They were doing really well. 
and they actually wanted to push gaming a lot because they weren't known as a gaming computer. And part of that was that Steve Jobs said, well, if we can get people like John Carmack telling people that the Mac is worthwhile, um, then other people will follow suit. Crap! Uh, and for, it did kind of work, but not enough. I can't believe we're doing effing current game. I can't even tell for, like that's the point of a crane game, but. Whoever designed this, I hate you. Oh, there's a transfer item to incinerator button. I didn't even notice that. Uh, automatic button. Let's do that next time. <sighs> uh, alien isolation. Yeah, interesting. Oh, thanks, DK Shadow. <laughs> totally wasn't paying attention to the lock. I was just. Do I, I don't even know if those are new additions after feedback from the original version, but we'll see. Amazing. But the reason why I like this game so much is that it is essentially a horror game. And it is genuinely scary. So I just can't remember where we are. We're not there yet. Oh, there we go. Thanks, DK Shadow. I was totally going like full manual on this. It's funny how they sort of cheat the physics, like when the barrels fall, if you screw up, they never fall on their side. They always fall so that you can pick them up again. Boom, one more. Wait, do we only? Oh no, Toxic all right, because we don't have to clear out the open ones. Waste disposal area, now safe for entry. Marine, we gotta pick up the pace. We have more men down. Bravo team is their own. So I was supposed to uh, meet up with Bravo team sometime before, and they keep running out on me. You know what? Let's do a safety save. So my sort of personal goal in life has been to meet up with Bravo team for, for quite some time. Hey, Natsuko17, what's the game like? Well, it's this. It's evil murder in the dark. It's scary. It's fun. There's a key card. Oh, I just noticed the, the key pickup sound is the classic Doom key pickup sound. I do like the animation when you're sort of squatting around. That guy was like hammered, he was just puking down below. Okay, so everything's cool. Everything is totally cool. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen in here. Ooh, ammo belt. Always a good sign. Oh, uh, I don't have storage locker. If anyone has any storage locker codes, let me know, but I'm just gonna hit one, two, three. Oh, it did work. Excellent, never mind. What the hell? Thanks, Monster Closet. So Doom is criticized for having Monster Closets. It 100% does. The level is pretty much just all about uh, hiding monsters away so you can trigger them. Race platform locked phrase. Proceed with card removal. Say what? Huh? I'm confused. Proceed with cargo removal. I actually have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh no, that was just a bonus room. Okay, sorry. I have a key card. There was another door. Let's go see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's new!
Death is coming. Happy times. Happy times. I like hearing the footsteps. Those shotgunners are pretty brutal. The AI is pretty cool though. Like it's really awesome how they take cover and the sort of animation systems. Oh God, this is all bad. This has all gone bad. Let's get out of the way. Let's get that health. Uh, this little bad boy. Yikes. Oof. Safety save. Yeah, that screen shake is brutal. So, that, yeah, the um, animation systems that they use for the enemies in here is what end up becoming what they use for Rage, which is end up what they started to use in Doom 2016. There we go. Key card. The game is funny. It has these, like, random hard loads, which on Xbox were a whole lot worse. Whoa. Always be reloading. That's cool. Not creepy at all. Yeah, here we go. These little guys always come out. Ugh. Little swarms. Such a simple sound effect, but it really is pretty gross. I love all the health stuff. Oh crap, I don't have an access code. I didn't get that ready. If anyone in the chat has the access code for Locker 048 in Alpha Labs, please let me know. Excuse me. I'll hang out here for a second. See if anyone's got it. Nope. Okay. We're moving on. We're basically dead. Whoa. Oh. I guess that's where the trigger was. What the heck? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man, that chair is like severely blocking progress. That's gross. Oh. Oh boy. I feel great. Those shotgunners are kind of like the biggest jerks. Holy crap, that was stressful. Oh, that was one, two, three. They're all one, two, three. Oh, thanks, Wormat. Sorry. I'll get it next time. Ah. Thanks, buddy. I should have waited. Should have known I could have counted on you. Oh. So stressful. Man, I'm starting to think I should have put this game out easy. It's funny, the difficulty... Gross. The difficulty modes actually changed in the BFG edition too. They all kind of got a little bit easier. And they added easy mode. Whoa, hey, buddy. Oh, fat zombies. Oh, the one without a face. Those are the best. Oop. That didn't work out very well.
creepy red hallway. Creepy dark hallway. Creepy desk. I'm sure this will all work out great. Let's see what's down here. Oh, that ambience is really cool. That's super cool. That's not scary at all. Oh! I'm not scared, you're scared. <laughs> it's, it's like closets within closets. Turns out I was the monster class all along. <laughs> Whoa. It's funny, for a game that is apparently not Doom, these level designs sure are very Doom-like. I do like how they have the little uh, uh, room names on them. That's fun. Well, that didn't go so well, but I'm going to do a save anyway. Maybe in the second slot. <laughs> oh, Keenhead, that's amazing. I just saw your thing about the Boston Cream Donut. What kind of a monster cat is that? Hey, buddy. Ah! Die, monster. You don't belong in this realm. I could do better than 41 health. Thank you. Nothing bad's happening here, no sir. Oh, I forgot what my jump button was. Oh crap. Holy moly. That was effing scary. From the heavy water runoff. That lighting's pretty cool. Oh my god. So tense. Hard to reload, huh? Oh, that sounds bad. Oh yeah, it's a pinky. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not getting out of here alive. Fine, fine, fine. My kingdom for a super shotgun. Three health? Oh, 
Yeah, the old duck and oh man. Thought we had it. Oh, hey, now I'm glad to see you. How's it going? Um, yeah, I heard there's been so much weird stuff about Grandia. Like, they're, um, they keep saying it's based on the Saturn version, but it's totally not. It's basically the PlayStation version, and they're being really weird about it. I don't know who's running their PR department over there, but it's not good. I'm just going to reload everything, because this is all going to go bad again real fast. They're being published by Gung Ho, huh? Okay, let's try this again. Well, that was a whole lot better. I'm definitely doing a safety save. You'll notice I'm ducking a lot when I'm using a shotgun. That was the thing I learned when playing the Xbox version. Uh, because your movement options were often limited, because corridors were pretty tight. There we go. Um, but you could actually duck projectiles and whatnot, so I did that a lot. Let's just do a save here. Oh, oh well, I guess we made another save. Oh, Keenan, is that true for the um, for Ground D two? It's all Dreamcast. It seems pretty interesting. I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the sort of comparisons. I never played either of them. Um, but I am fascinated by it. Okay, let's try... Let's try these on Picky Demon. I'm just going to adjust my window here for a second. save here real quick, but we'll commit. Where is he? Where is he? reload. Try again. Uh, if there was one good thing about the terrible Doom movie, is that the Pinky Demon was pretty funny. Just follow the sounds of hell. <laughs> okay, so clearly shotgun was the better idea. It's funny, I actually remember this level, the Xbox version of this area was different. Uh, and I remember it, but it's sort of designed a little bit differently. There we go, there we go, that's better. Pinky Demon number three. Okay. Think we're doing okay. Where is he? Yeah, there we go. Oof, I get very physically active while playing this. I'm just like losing my mind here. All right, let's save. That was good. Good encounter, everybody. Oh, sewer, good call. I didn't even notice that. Yeah! Everything's going sideways. 
Yeah, the best way to think about this game is that it's essentially like a giant uh, haunted house. Open the paw bay doors. Alpha Labs 3. Or 4. Oh, I have to be careful playing these games. They actually do hurt my hands a lot. A lot of the trigger kind of stuff. What time are we at? Oh, we're doing okay. Uh, yeah, Keenad, regarding the... Oh. Marine, I was able to locate your position. Four comms to two are getting a malfunction and shut down. Massive service disruptions throughout the entire base. Uh, how long I'll be able to track? Bravo team has just entered the info plant. Pick up the pace. You aren't far behind. Yeah, yeah Bravo team. Uh, the, I saw the Doom movie in the theater with friends. I had a great time. We probably had a lot of beers. It was so ridiculous. I totally want to watch it again. Heck, there's another one coming out this year. Can you believe that? Two do movies. Like, what the hell? Oh yeah, that's um, the atmospheric sounds really sweet. It's something they first. and get me out oh. thank you so I could have nuked him there instead but I don't remember what happens he's probably gonna end up dead anyway Buddy. Thanks for getting me out of there. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems being invaded by hell, sir. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Oh, I got a video. Oh yeah. While you're here, can you open this damn case for me? Here, while he's doing his thing, let's go check out what we just got. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th. Oh, sewer, so totally. Everyone here come in this from game the is flares looking. Where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series <laughs> BFG weapons. 9000. Well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. I guess I'll have to go over there myself. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security port in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams. Remember that, please, 901. <laughs> Anywho, I know everyone is always so chill. You'll notice the undercurrent of this game is that everyone is incompetent. The workers suck, the management sucks, everyone's real bad at their jobs. Uh, what's funny is that while this game was being made, there was a ton of infighting and internal politics going on at id. So part of me wonders if some of what happened there kind of leaked into the plot a little bit. I'm going to stay here. I can lock the door after you leave. I... Hey, is that her? Is that blinding you? Is that blinding you? Okay. Well, I guess I'll go save everybody. You just sit here, you coward. Can I 
lock. No, okay, whatever. Like, look at that, that's cool. It sounds cool too. Safety save. Ah, oh, Keened, amazing. No, 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 don't, please stay, we need you. Why isn't there like a Doom themed haunted house somewhere? Like laser tag escape room. Ah, <laughs> oh, those jerks. Yeah, so those guys totally sound like the Combine from Half Life. And their pathing is pretty interesting too. They're always such total jerks. Oh yeah. Oh, bit of performance yeah. issue there. Come on, switch. I'm, I'm trying. Nope. 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 Yep. Oh, nope. Oh, come on. I did not do a great job with that. Oh, really, Black Magic? Where was that? Uh, I did the. Oh, I'm sorry. Great schematics show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible routes through it. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting system is fine. Make your choice. Good luck. Okay, so we have divergent paths, uh, choice mechanics, and we also have... Um, Oh. Yeah, uh, this is where things get real freaky real fast. If you hadn't noticed. Yeah, like Adelaide and Portland. No kidding. Did not know that. Uh, so I was at the Star Wars VR thing at the rec room a few weeks ago, and that thing was amazing. The kind where you have, like, real wind and heat simulations and all that kind of stuff. And it's like a real room experience. Totally amazing. But imagine one of these. And... Okay. Uh, well. Are we going to activate EFR system, or are we going to uh, extend the service bridge? I will wait, and we'll find out what you guys have to say. And I'll drink from my Medieval Times mug. Yo, what up, Ryoma Duder? EFR or Service Bridge? EFR, okay. That's one vote for EFR. One vote for Bridge? Oh. <laughs> Man, Stuart's real, real hardcore about this EFR. Okay, going once. Going to, dang, ah, sorry, Black Magic, you've been outvoted. All right, EFR. Oh my God, I broke my legs. I have no idea what an EFR is. I also did not get any, <laughs> I did not get any sort of run, uh, running, you know, momentum on that jump. Didn't you hear the colonel whatever talking about EFR? I didn't either. Okay, whew, let's try that again. Okay, I will do that better. Thank you, Seward, for your helpful guidance. Man. 
You're like the dad I didn't know I needed. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What is this, Turok? Look at this nonsense. That's locked. Oh. That's pretty cool. So all those green highlights remind you of Dune 2016 sort of green light pathing system. There we go, we can go over here. Just a nice... What the hell? Everything's fine. Everything is great. Oh yeah, the extra, extra fun rad bridge. That's what that stands for. Who designed this warehouse? Oh god, this is like all the window stuff I had to do the other day. Let's do some tech support. Cargo platform, system online, shell charge, conveyor grip, reprocessing system running. Okay. Oh man, look. They're doing virus scans over here? Power outage? Back up your save files? <laughs> we backed up files. Is that like saving the animals in Super Metroid? A g g g g ghost Okay, that door is green now. I have no idea what all that mumbo jumbo man, but the door is green, so we did it, guys. We gammed. We got the gam working. Whew. Man, these guys are murderous. Performance hit there again. Come on, Switch, I know you can do it. Oof. Caution, dangerous drop. Hey, that's a platform. Okay, we're not going to try that yet. I just want to go in here and make sure we didn't miss anything. It's funny, like, some of these areas I remember more specific... Or, sorry, I don't remember specifically from the Doom... Uh, sort of the Xbox version. And I think they were drastically changed. They're pretty cool, though. This game is pretty neat. The sort of design uh, aesthetic is pretty cool. You know, just like that sort of extremely brutal military style. It makes a lot of sense. System malfunction. Well, let's do a safety save, because I'm pretty sure that whatever's going to happen, it's going to go badly. EFR Junction 1. Not sure if you know this, but this is actually what the Amazon Prime warehouse looks like. That's why all those people were on strike on Amazon Prime Day. Well, let's hope for the best. I'm sure that won't cut my head off. No, please go that way. Oh, aha!
<laughs> this is probably nicer than Amazon's right house. You're probably right. It's probably got better air conditioning, etc. It's like the factory part from Attack of the Clones. <sighs> Man, those imps sure can take a bullet. Alright. Look how cool this looks. Like, this is pretty neat. The Xbox version does not have nearly as much of this sort of detail, I don't think. Or maybe I just never took to the EFR route. Oh, Keenet, you got the Turbo Mini? I was actually just looking at that today online. So we can always use security weaker. Would not, would not ever complain. Okay. Discharge field active. Is that good? Is that bad? Why doesn't this thing come with a manual? Oh. Seems like it's probably going to be bad. Oh, of course. fell. <sighs> Safety save. Oh, my heart's pounding. Oh. This is scarier than developing a video game. Oh god, look how terrifyingly dark it is down here. Hello up there, there, there. Safety save. Electricity storage. Well, hey man, it takes a lot of power to run Mars City. Oh, we just missed our ride. <laughs> Joke's on you, Stuart. I have no friends. I do not remember this part of the game at all. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Oh, Namava, really? Sad panda. Spotter house. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of totally down with the turbo midi i might just get the american version i just i'm a big fan uh of this sort of retro turbo packaging like i love that orange 90s packaging okay you know what i will say about this game holy crap are the loading times ever good on xbox they were insane Okay, so I'm ducking. Is that good? Is ducking good? Okay, ducking's good. We duck. Yeah, I'll take that armor. That's where I would put my armor behind that crate so that bastard Bob doesn't get a hold of it. Good old armor stealing Bob. Oh, there is some tracking which I like. 
I was saying this to a friend the other day, like, I'm old now, and my hands hurt. Moving a tiny reticle to, uh, to target an enemy on screen in FPS is just kind of not my... It gets harder as you get older, so... Whatever aim assist you want to put on, game. I'm totally down with that. I don't know what we're gonna do. Fire lol. Oh, I totally thought that guy went left. He did not go left. Take that. Someone's got a BFG. Whoa. Oh, Keenad, that sucks, man. I'm so sorry to hear that. Port one out for your Sega Saturn. No kidding, that sucks. <laughs> Black magic, what's the satiator? That's amazing. Oh, you got a full size graphics. that is incredible. Where'd you pick that up? Uh, did you get it online or did you find it at the local shop? Oh, cutscene. Oh, this boss, crap. How effed up that is. Doom guy don't care. Naked lady spider. Totally a quake style enemy. Maybe it's time to... Oh, God. Take that. I do that all with a flashlight, too. This is cool. I love this sort of gross set dressing. This game tends to toe the line between, like, Doom and Quake, I find. Sometimes it's very Quake 2, sometimes it's kind of Quake 1, sometimes it's very Doom. It's interesting. Oh, Black Magic. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, I didn't know what goes in the expansion port. I only knew about the, um, like, the Phobos and Deimos, uh, mods that, like, My Life in Gaming talked about before. Is that... Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. That sounds cool. Oh, we did it. Sorry, just catching up a chat. I like bug butts and I cannot lie. Sir, you're, you are a classic, my friend. Man, who the hell... What the hell are these dudes doing? Oh, that whole Saturn... Um, that Saturn mod sounds great. Yeah, that's right, Black Magic, you do. Oh, there's Bravo Team. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is Lee. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Go on. What the hell? Lee's up swinging around left. Ah! No! Oh, shit. Environmental damage. Look at this, look how cool this is. Environmental storytelling, actual, like, cutscene storytelling. Warning. Screen shake. 
Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe Coach. levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the, the key card. Got it. The last hope to get reinforcements. Find that card and find it fast. Oh, we got a drone. So that's pretty cool. So the cool thing about Doom 3 is it kind of like fulfills the promise that the original Doom Bible did. Oh, that's cool. You know, the story of like all these Marines getting stuck in the hell uh, onslaught. Oh, whoa. Hey. What's up, Jimmy? Okay, uh, let's go check out Jimmy's closet here. Let's see if he was hiding anything cool. No, just scary sounds. These guys are awesome. This, this game just does so much. Like the crazy lighting. The AI drone. And so a lot of you know a lot of people nowadays. Attention. All personnel evacuate. Uh Lament Doom 3 saying like, oh it was never good, it was never good Doom, but it actually was like one of the best selling games of the year. You did super well. Oh, damn. Because, I mean, when you think about it, in terms of sort of, like, AAA PC game design, this is off the charts. It looks incredible. It's got so many neat new features. Warning. Coolant Rod 2 offline. Not Coolant Rod 2. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Way to whiff on that barrel. Look at those lights. Look how cool that looks. Like, the whole point is it's supposed to be dark, so you see the light being cast by the uh, drone's uh, headlamp. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Okay, chat. Um, give me a name for our drone buddy. Jimmy Salvador, I like that. I like that name. Yeah, everyone was totally all about Half Life 2, but I was I was always more of a Doom guy. I mean, I thought I was much of a PC gamer to begin with, but look how cool this looks. Oh, look like that. And if you don't know the story, John Carmack, that maniac, came up with this whole idea of this lighting system while he was taking a shower. True story. And because he's a super genius alien from space, he's like, yeah, I can do that. And he did. And now we have Doom 3. What are we doing for time? Oh. It's already been an hour. Half an hour to go. Uh, okay. I'll take the bait. Oh, yeah, plasma rifle. Excellent. It's about time. Very satisfying. Look at this lighting and atmospherics. Amazing. I feel like I should probably save that, but uh, I don't know. I'll take the plasma rifle. Oh. Droney McDrone face. Sanic. Okay. Sanic it is. Oh, oh, screen shake. McGarnacle going on here. 
Some bad things are gonna happen. Let's go take that ladder. I think this is a secret. Team Sanic. I hit the old hard save. Hear that? Not creepy at all. Yep, all good. That's not creepy at all. I remember that scared the absolute piss out of me. Oh, crap. I even have the locker combo for locker uh, 063. I'm gonna just hold up here and poop my pants. Fear. Uh, I'm gonna listen to a PDA while we wait. Because we got a new one. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We've realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction <laughs> research... Keenan, I just saw your Sanic the Hellhog. I like that. Storage ...currently available in standard ammo packs. Nope. Nope. I would also okay. like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security oh. reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 9... I think she said 972. Once I took care of these lost souls. I think they actually use the original sound effect. Thanks, Keenan. Uh, for when they die, the Lost Souls die. Nine. Whoa. Whoa. Seven. Two. I don't know about you, but those little health packs, they look like Sega Saturns to me. Welcome to hell. Sure, everything will be fine. Safety save. Black magic, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Halo was two thousand one, but this was this was extra special because it was one of your only light sources at the time, which is what made it so cool. Attention. All personnel evacuate the facility. Oh, God. Look at that, eh? That's so cool. It's pretty crazy to be playing this on the Switch, even though, like, some of the performance gets a little squirrely. Uh, on Xbox One X, it runs like full 4K, 60 FPS. It's pretty impressive. Considering this was like the game you bought a graphics card for back in the day. Hazard doors sealed. Please contact plant management for Damn plant assistance. management. Warning. Reactor core temperature, 235 degrees Celsius. I 
I'll take my seven bits of health. Seven cubits. Sorry, I'm due to save to save. Is this effing scary? Whoa! Oh, the old stick and move technique did not work. Oh no, I totally fell off. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm pretty sure on Xbox they removed all those sort of like death, death bits. Yeah, so if you've never played this game before and you didn't play it when it came out, keep in mind you would have had to only switch between the flashlight uh, and a gun. And all the enemies are designed so that they have light points on them, usually their eyes or other parts that give off like a bioluminescence so that you can see them. Um, even without the flashlight. Like how that lost soul glows and there's... Rajon. Yeah, I prefer the original mode. To me, that's the way it was meant to be played. Uh, you either... You can either see or you can shoot. Because that was the design. It was meant to be a horror game. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa. And I also love how the imps like lob their uh, lob their fireballs. Got myself into a world, world of hurt. And I do like how they use the original uh, UAC logo. Whoa. See, you can see its eyes when it's uh, running at you. Catch a break with an elevator. Warning. Reactor core temperature 585 degrees. 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes. Let's see how far we can get. This is basically like a Silent Hill level. This is what's so cool about it. Warning. Reactor core temperature beyond acceptable levels. Marines, you gotta find that transmission card. If Swan gets his hands on it, I don't know what he'll do. So he said Swan, not Swan. We're not going after uh Whoa. A bad Smashing Bumpkins follow-up. That was freaky. See, look. The old Sega Saturn. Okay, we got a health Jimmy there. We got some. Aha! Saturn fans will always exist now, though. There are dozens of us. I should totally play Doom on Sega Saturn. Actually, no, I can't. Know. It's like insanely expensive for such a crap game. 
Oof. Warning. Reactor core temperature. 900 degrees Celsius. So parts of this area are definitely, they feel a lot more like Doom 2016. Hey, Cerebus. Hey, yeah, it wasn't for everyone. I love it, though. I get it, though. The other thing to consider, too, is, like, you're mostly, I mean, I'm playing this game pretty close, like, the screen's uh, pretty close to me, but, like, you're, like, playing this, like, hunched over like this on a PC. Absolutely terrifying. Oh, Nemo, that's interesting. Whoa, your first Doom was this. That's awesome. Look at that lighting. No one does lighting like this either, too, right? I like the sort of really card? stark shadows. No, sir. Okay, let's get to the communications facility. We can stop the transmission from there. Whatever you say, Counselor. Soundtrack got like kind of like 80s Terminator in there. Bullet Rod 2 online. There's so many like little details that are really cool. I don't know if that didn't auto save, but I'm gonna do a safety save just in case. I can save if I want to. <laughs> Blarcade, that's amazing. That feels like that's the box quote for Doom 3. My friend spent the most, way too much money upgrading his PC rig to play this in the lowest possible settings. I remember the Mac demo I had. I was running on a pretty old machine and is not as uh, not as well optimized as on PC. And it was pretty rough. But it was just cool just to see it. I should just buy this on Steam one time just to kind of kind of get the full experience. Although on an Xbox One X on a 4K TV, it'd be pretty ridiculous. Uh, Cerebus, no, this is the BFG edition for Switch, which essentially gives you a shoulder-mounted flashlight that has a battery built in. And I totally lost track of what I was doing here. So, similar idea to the duct tape mod. Oh yeah, we're done here. So we go back. That's that sort of like ambient sound effect you're hearing is very Doom 64. Mixed with that sort of cool soundtrack. You know you're going the right way when shit just appears in front of you. Oh. That's not creepy at all. Okay, I'll leave that med kit. I'll get that. We gotta go back. I guess we gotta go back up. Namovo, unfortunately, it can't. I would love to get a copy and play that backwards compat on Xbox One X. Like, even if it's rough looking, it's just such a slightly different version of the game that it's awesome. My favorite part of the game is a part later on that Doom 2016 definitely bores heavily from, but it's when you start getting to all of, like the bloody walls, uh, all the messages written that gets very evil all the time, and the candles start coming out a lot more. It's pretty sweet. Hard load. Yeah, Roma, you're totally true. That's the one downside is that because things are dark and very sort of realistically military style, they get kind of gray and beat up a lot. I also like these details because they're totally from Quake. Like, that's the main design language in uh, Quake 1 and 2. This is sort of trapezoidal shapes. Okay. Security armor. I actually don't know where I'm going. Oh, probably the other side. That's how you usually design these levels. You get a, a half moon.
Here we go. Oh no, this is where the uh, first lost soul lady was. Hmm. I'm kind of lost. I didn't know that could happen in Doom. Oh, I missed it? Okay, Black Magic. Guide me. I will wait. In the Half Moon Ruins second door. Oh. Right there, is it? Over there? Oh. Yep. Thanks, Black Magic. It makes sense now. I just. I thought I came out of this door, but I totally didn't. Look at that. Sure. Oh, I remember this room. I really like the design of this room. Um, I yeah, you really should go find the uh, March. I think it's March two thousand and one. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I think it's it's either WWCD or MacWorld. Well, probably the WWC. Where John Carmack's up on the on the Apple uh, stage talking about it. It's just neat to see the old version. Dude, seriously. Okay, well, I may not be able to go back. See that? That's not good. Let's see if I... Yeah, I remember this spot. Literal monster closet. So we gotta hang your monsters. Oh, yeah, I took a bit of a beating there. Some cool sand design going on there. Okay. That's. These little alcoves are very Doom 1. That's right, Black Magic. Chris Verena did the sound design. For those of you who don't know, he was a drummer with Nine Inch Nails for a while. Uh, Tweaker, I think, was the name of the band. And a lot of people thought uh, Trent Reznor did the sounds because he was involved in Quake and stuff. And there's, like, some riffs that are kind of similar, but... Uh, but it wasn't him. It was somebody else. Look at the detail on these cables. Like, that's madness. Oh, and what I like is when they show these um, crazy bloody screens, they're basically like the texture from in between levels or in between the episodes in Doom 1. <laughs> that Namava sounds like Doom 3 in a nutshell. That's the first cardboard box you've seen in a while. I wonder who, you know what, I'm sure it's in the credits, but I wonder who got to do all the UI design for these panels. These are so cool. Oh, brains. Oh, buddy. Sorry, bro. Ten more minutes. This sound design is oppressive. It's so good. F it, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, 
I remember this. Oh, dude. You can see how kind of like the space you have to work in is so tight and why they would have changed it for the original console release. Also, I think I'm about to have a seizure right now. Yikes. Things are getting dangerous. These levels, these levels feel a lot more like Doom 2016 levels, except they're definitely more cramped. Oh. Yeah, man. Ryomi, you should totally, if you don't have it, get the Steelbook Edition for, um, for your OG Xbox. It's, it's awesome. It'll look great on that CRT you have, too. Excuse me. Oh, those textures are great, Doom 1. I think it was Vicarious Visions that did the Xbox version. Oh, Steve Hammer. Well, we got this PDA by a dude named Steve Hammer. Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down, and you had to laugh when that machine lit up. But before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. That's dark. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, Anywho. I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need oh, the- sorry, Steve Hammer, I cut you off. Hey, over here. We were hit. <coughs> I don't know how much farther I can go. Here, take the transmission card. I can't stay here. Oh. Isn't safe. We better move. So these jerks teleport all the time. And they sidestep too, that's pretty cool. The AI is really fun. Okay, that's an airlock, we don't wanna go there yet. We got five minutes. from the Xbox version. I think this version's, or this room is like, um, considerably simplified. All right. Let's exit the facility. Whoa. Actually, we can just cut it here because uh, this is sort of the end of the level. Comms transfer connects to Emperor Communications to access the multipurpose facility for power distribution. Oh, never mind. Uh oh, see that loading hint? Try to dodge Revenant rockets by quickly running behind cover. What's a Revenant? I haven't seen one yet. Oh, crap. Things about to go sideways. Okay, let's do a quick, let's do a quick Mars walk. Oh, and it's our first Kako demon. Some oxygen. And look at the oxygen tanks kicking around. Marine, get 
march your ass to the communications facility as quickly as possible. You've got to get that message to the fleet. <laughs> These guys have some pretty sweet armor. Wait. Whoa. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Wait, can we get in there? We can, but there's nothing in here. Oh god, can we get out? Don't tell me I just got myself stuck. Super trooper, that's me. I just got myself stuck behind a railing. That's insane. <laughs> well, there's only one thing we can do. Man, I'm, I'm pretty tough. Let's do a bit of grenade suicide before we log off. The physics on those grenades are pretty sweet. There we go. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, tell me about it. Story of my life. All right, that was amazing. That was Doom 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Of course, also available on PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox 360, and PC, and maybe Mac. I'm not even sure. That was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was super fun. I know I'm terrified and my hands hurt, so I'm just going to go uh, put these in ice water for the next two months, and hopefully we'll do a stream again soon. Actually, we'll be back next week. Okay, everyone. I'm going to uh, check out from here, and if you're around in about half an hour, you should go to twitch.tv slash Stuart and watch his amazing stream where he's probably going to be playing cool adventure games tonight. Uh, much less stressful than playing Doom, and uh, we'll see you guys there. See ya!